Greetings! Today I have for you a box! I have ordered a small order from Jet Pens and it came in, even though it told me it was going to come in later, but I'm going to do it now because I can. Um, this is actually a rather large box, but I'm not sure why because I didn't order things that were that large. But anyway, I thought I'd share this adventure with you. I've got a couple products that I'm going to review in more detail when I get the chance to sometime. Anyway, let's get started with some bubble wrap. Stop, look, more parts inside. Okay, let's just rip up the invoice. Why would you do that? <sighs> anyway, I bought two Inkwell stickers, which I have no idea how to get out. There we go, come on. Oh, those are really sturdy. I've always, I really wanted these, and apparently they are not being produced anymore, so I got two of those, one to stick on something and one to keep forever and ever because I'm a hoarder in this one I do. But yeah, little inkwell symbols that they have. Apparently they're not going to make them anymore, so if you want to get some of your own, um, go get some. That's all I got to say about that. We have, ah yes. This one, where do you open the shit? Sailor Yamadori. This was the absolute last one they had in stock, so I'm like, I need it now. Um, the only reason why, this is the Gentle Ink brand, the uh, series. The reason why I got this one is because this one looked very interesting on the um, sample swatches. I really wanted to try this one out. It looks like copper patina or some form. And it's got like fill instructions on the back, which is really spiffy. I'm gonna try to open this box without destroying it. Maybe, I don't know, you can never get your fingers in there. There we go. It's really, really pretty packaging, and I'm gonna go over this ink in more detail when I fill it up. But that is just a very pretty glass bottle. It's so pretty. So cold, too. It's winter out. I can see the very blueness happening here, but yeah, I'm gonna go over that in more detail. Maybe this is what, uh, that's a lot larger than I thought. Maybe this is why I have a huge package. This is the Kuretake envelope sen uh, stencil thing because I like making my own envelopes out of fancy paper. This is the Western version. They have a Japanese version as well. Um, it's got like instructions on the back. You can kind of see the envelope. You can do it in a variety of sizes, how you need to. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory how to use it, but if you want me to go into a more detailed video and make um, envelopes, I have this spiffy. I have the spiffy wrapping paper that I got from a uh, stationery store that has since closed, which upsets me. Um, but it's basically macarons and donuts, and I really love it, and yeah. So if you guys want me to do a more detailed tutorial video on this, let me know in the comments down below, and I will make that happen for you guys. There's a lot of bubble wrap in here. Next up, we have, what is this? Paper! I think. Yes, that is it. So I have some paper. I got two pads of paper. See. So much bubble wrap. That's one thing you gotta say about jet pens is they certainly packed it nicely. All right. So I got two different letters, uh, letter papers. I got Strathmore Writing, which I'm gonna test that out for you guys in a future video. I got it in blank, even though I have horrible, horrible line structures and ability to stay straight. But I got blank. Wait a minute. 50 line sheets? I am confused because it says 50 line sheets, but it also says blank, so what? Anyway, this is blank. This is acid free cotton. 8.5 by 11. So. I needed some for my pen pal writing, anyway. Then I got this airmail pad, which is slightly smaller, and this one is kind of similar to Tomo River, and on the 
pictures. It actually looked more like vellum, but it doesn't appear to look like that now. Oh, that's cool. On the first page, it has the um, vertical writing that Japanese penmanship does, and then there's another sheet, which I suppose you can use as a stencil, because the paper is thin enough. This paper is really thin. This is a pack of 50, and this is a pack of 50. So you can kind of... Yeah, that's interesting. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. That was still quite a bit of chunk of change, even though I only got like five items. But I wanted to share with you guys because I was really, really, really excited about getting stuff. And so thank you guys for joining me on this little stationary adventure. I will have those videos up when I can get them up um, on a Wednesday because it's pen stuff and I do my pen stuff on Wednesday. But yeah, let me know, uh, have you tried any of these products for, before? Uh, let me know what your impressions are before I do my thorough reviewing things. And of course, if there's anything else that I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time.